guys first of all really really thank you for all your support if you want to connect with me personally you can check out my twitter and if you want to be part of this channel's community you can check out my discord server all the links in the description below and i recently got a uh, message saying that like few people asked me like uh, do some more videos on active directory and one of the most requested is like how to identify domain controller like if you take any sort of exam or anything like that they'll give you a subnet okay like some 255 hosts or something like that so you do nmaps can basically like you do ping scan like to find which are the hosts that are up or not but in those hosts how can you identify whether it's a domain controller or not like the advantage of identifying the domain controller is like you can try to modify your attack type okay like uh, for example if your uh, if your target is linux then the methodology is going to be obviously different like the payloads everything are going to be obviously different but if you're dealing with a domain controller you have like set of opportunities like you can test for asrep roasting you can uh, find out the usernames like there are a lot more stuff to do so that is how you can use this video for and this is like a simple guide a small video so i made some detailed uh, uh, note sort of thing so uh, I'll mention this note screenshot in the what you say in the description or in the on my Twitter account. So make sure you follow from there. So the first one there will be two scenarios. So the first scenario is like your attacker machine may be directly in the AD network. Like you can directly access the like for example, a, take an exam called as X. And in those exams, you'll definitely get a VPN file, right? So the VPN file uh, it may give you access to some hosts. And assume that in, in some of those hosts, there is a domain controller, like you have the direct access to an AD network. Okay. And there is something like indirect access, like, uh, you need to, uh, uh, exploit one machine and then you need to pivot into that. And then you will find an internal network, which is an active directory. So the steps are going to be a bit different. Okay. So the first step, which is basic and also my lab is set in such a way that, uh, the first scenario works properly fine. So what we basically do in a pen test is like, we basically uh, do an nmap scan so uh, i'll show an example so i already got a session here evil vinarm session so let's leave that behind so arp nl so like as i told you this is a test network so i only have one host that is up and running so assume that uh, this may be something so how you can identify so nmap and i'm just going to do a simple nmap scan i'm not going to add some complex uh, thing like version sort of stuff so in uh, whenever uh, an IP, uh, whenever the scan of particular IP releases few ports, like uh, let me give you a quick brief, like most of the time the domain controller acts as a DNS. Okay, so like most of the time, like 99% of the times you can see a DNS port is running up and running. Okay, and also one more thing uh, to uh, keep in mind is like the 53 is like a default port. Like I can configure this DNS on like 53, 53 port. So it is dependent. So always do the version scan and try to understand what that particular port is offering. Okay. Sometimes they may confuse you in such a way that for example, they may not give Kerberos on port 88. So you think like, oh, it's not there. It doesn't have Kerberos. So this may not be a domain controller, but it may be present on some other port like 8080, like four eights or anything. And the DNS and Kerberos, we all know domain controller, like deals with Kerberos authentication sort of stuff. So 88 port is going to be definitely included. NetBIOS and SMB, you all know. These will, uh, these two will also be available on normal Windows machines as well. And one important thing is like LDAP and LDAPS. So these two are like services. You can always see them on a domain controller. Like when you do an NMAP scan, and if you find these particular posts are ports are open and running, then you have something good. Okay, like you can see LDAP SSL, LDAP is there. Uh, RPC client is also sometimes it, you can see that sometimes it may be disabled. Like uh, there is no guarantee, but you can see that you can see Kerberos sec and that you can see DNS like these. If you see these sort of ports right? you can get some clarity like, okay, 95% of the time, this may be a domain controller. So 5% like they, it, it 5%, it may be tricky. Like, uh, sometimes they may like, uh, like intentionally configure few ports. Okay. So then how you can identify is like when you start attacking, right? Uh, like when you go to the exploitation phase or like enumeration phase, right? You can find out that, okay, okay, this is not a domain control sort of thing. So keep that in mind. So these are the few common ports that you see. And even uh, I did few boxes on track me and hack the box. Like this is like mostly for the CTF based. Okay. So if you see these ports, then we can have a, like, uh, can conclude like it may be DNS, uh, sorry, domain controller. And the second one is like internal network. 
so like uh, most of the exams uh, the practical exams like uh, ec ppt or the all sort of these like they have an internal network so they give you a external server like uh, linux or it can be windows whatever it is and then it contains an internal network which is definitely going to be an active directory okay so in those cases how you need to do is like first step you need to uh, you need to exploit that particular machine okay the facing machine which you are uh, able to ping okay and the second one is like you need to do pivoting okay so pivoting is a ba basic part so you can use s you can use uh, chisel you can use whatever tool you want and you need to have like a pivot into an internal network and uh, then you can do it or sometimes right like uh, most of the time how it will be is like so there is going to be a windows machine facing and uh, it may con contains an internal network so most of the time this is the scenario that i basically see it, it contains a windows uh, a facing side windows uh, external server so which you can access and after exploiting that that particular uh, machine okay that particular windows machine is connected to a domain controller so then you need to do escalations like a movement a vertical movement or anything and then you try to get the domain controller so so that's the reason i have like uh you can see this evil win rm basically is like i have a compromised user for example and you can see if i do a, who am i i'm a domain uh, i'm like t star so this is like a test and uh, this is like a test network so which is heavily inspired from that the cyber mentors lab so i'll leave the link for that lab if you want to build in your own network uh, in your own laptop you can follow that guide it's simple and you'll have like good lab to practice all those sort of stuff and the basic thing you can do is like uh, you can see whether this is connected to us any domain or not so it's like system info so there are others as well so i'll mention them but these are the only few stuff that i basically use okay so you can use others if you want to like this does like system info and you are piping the option output for the domain so like this like as i told you that like you may not always know the domain name or the what's the domain it is having so here i can see that the, it is connected to a marvel.local okay for example if you are not able to find that so it may be a different scenario okay maybe if you are not able to find it is uh, not connected to the domain controller then you need to do internal escalations as well so that's a different thing but uh, if you if you have a compromised windows machine and if you want to see whether it is connected with domain or domain controller or not then this is the way like it's a simple way and the next one is like an ad module so get ad uh, domain uh, so this gives like basic information this is a PowerShell module okay so you cannot run this on uh, what you say a, com a command prompt so keep that in mind so you can see it, it gives you some imp imp valuable information like what is the dns root okay you can see the domain sid so you can in most of the attacks like in future uh in future i'm going to make a video on golden ticket so uh, like golden ticket without mimicat so that's a specialty so you will be using this sids in like golden ticket as well as the silver ticket attack so keep this in mind and also the forest and as well as the infrastructure so infrastructure in the sense like i'll keep it simple so this is the name of the compromised host and this is the domain like it's like a subdomain subdomain sort of level okay and also guys the thing that i compromise is the domain control itself so it's named as hydra dc just for the demonstration purpose i'm going to show you okay so you can see some other information like uh, guids and other stuff but mostly those are not much valuable for you but uh, now what you got to know is like you got to know what is the domain name so now what you can basically do is like you can do ns lookup and you can put the domain name marvel.local and you can see then uh, you can find out the ip address like this marvel.local as i told you it is like it resolves okay so you have dns right your domain control always has a dns so when you look for ns lookup so it is going to show up the domain controller so this is like few steps like that i basically follow like in the ctf perspective right these are like basic steps that are enough for you okay but there are other stuff as well like uh, uh, like for example ad recon if you go to the ad recon this i'll leave the link for this like you can see it finds out a lot of information like through rpc client as well you can do this but sometimes rpc client you cannot always trust it because it may ask for you uh, you for the username and sort of stuff but what we basically did is like we did we didn't even need like uh what you say basic access as well like you just compromise the host that's it or you didn't even compromise the host these are the two cases that you are dealing with so you so most likely you may not be having the username and password so it, these are not going to work uh, like do you have some other stuff like uh, through rpc client uh, you can run enum for linux okay on you can see like within the rpc client you can see a lot of stuff 
uh, and test like there are so many tools that you can use okay so like these are tools but i like using the built-in modules okay like there is uh, one more tool called as ad recon uh this is also a good tool so if you want you can use it but what you need to do is like this is like a powershell script so you need to load that into your uh, into your target machine so if you don't like loading that and if you like this gives you more detailed information like forage domain sort of stuff like printers and all like more detailed uh, information because it is using a lot of modules okay so if you see get any domain you get some information which is fine but if you feel you mean you need more then you can load this powershell script and uh, you can even see how you how to run this as well so adrecon.ps1 if you have like ip or sort of stuff in uh, credential information sort of stuff you can go and check that okay so that is it guys like how you can basically identify domain controller so if you really end up liking this video make sure you like it and do share with your friends who are really interested in this sort of stuff and next video is going to be golden ticket attack okay without using mimikatz like mimikatz you can use mimikatz and do a golden ticket attack but i'm going to do it without mimikatz like uh, i'll show you how it's simple uh, you'll use some impact a tool college ticketer so stay tuned for that video and really thank you really thank you for watching this video till the end this is satvik signing off i'll meet you in the next video thank you